Hey guys, what's up? Carter here. Got another video for you. This one's going to be about the differences between the latest Strider generation and the previous Strider generation. It's been talked about at length, um, but all of the talking has been focused on the lock face, which I'll go over again just for fun. But there's another change that I don't think people have talked about all that much. So that's what I'm going to talk about in this video. Not because it's all that amazing, but just... I felt like talking about it. So you can see here I've got a new generation all stonewash blade drop point stonewash TI Ranger Green scales. This is an older generation, the previous generation. Cracked ice, Tonto with a three quarter ground. And then at the top, another newer generation Tiger Stripe Flamed Black G10. Uh, I'm going to carry this one tomorrow, by the way, just in case you were wondering. Um, the main difference that people talk about is with the lock face. Um, the older lock face was radius, meaning it had a curve to it, whereas the new one is straight. You can see the one on the left here, see how it's straight? The one on the right there is got that curve to it. Pretty straightforward. You can see it there, easy peasy. Um, I could talk at length about the differences in terms of lockup between the two, but that's not what this video is about. What I want to talk about is this change. Listen to this sound. Well, that wasn't the best example. Hear that? Listen to this. See that little click compared to that big thunk? That sound was actually pretty famous for Striders, that, that thwack. And it's kind of funny that I don't really hear people talk about how that's kind of gone away. Um, you know, we'll check it with this one too. Little click. Thunk. Um, nobody's really talked about how that's gone away. Um, the reason for that is they actually changed the relief cutout here. They've thinned out this, this relief. And, you know, it doesn't take much, but that is what has taken place. As you can see there, that's probably the best angle. You can see how it's thinned out, and it's also kind of, uh, the angle's a little bit different. You know, it's a little scoopier, it's a little wider. Um, and so what that does is it reduces the tension on the lock bar so it doesn't drive in as hard. Um, and that was done to kind of address a few complaints. One was lock stick. Um, you know, this one, how it pops into place like that, it does stick quite a bit, and it also will accelerate the wear of the lock bar a little bit too. Uh, but you can definitely feel when you go to disengage it, how it's uh, a little bit harder to disengage. And it also adds um, some resistance to the opening of the blade. It doesn't want to open quite as easily or as smoothly as one like this. I mean, this is just like butter. Super smooth, super easy to disengage. There's like zero stick. In fact, you can barely even feel it disengage sometimes. But it's still rock solid somehow. I don't know how they did that, but it's amazing. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, just wanted to point out that uh, little difference as well as the lock face. I haven't heard anybody talk about that, but um, and it's not just these examples. I've examined others, and you can actually just see if you look at pictures and look at videos of the older generation. Um, you can definitely hear the sound change, and I don't know. You can just kind of get a feel for how it's how it's definitely changed. Um, <clears throat> I'm not sure which one I prefer. This one definitely has more of a you know, hard use kind of feel to it. It's a little harder to open. Definitely feel that thing whack into place. Get a little bit of stick. This one, I mean, it's never failed or anything, but uh, man, it's just so smooth and easy to disengage. It's almost a little too easy to disengage. All right, guys, uh, that's it. Just a quick little video of the changes there. I will talk to you guys later.